Hey everybody, G4Video5 here, and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto 3, the definitive edition. In this part, we will be completing the mission Toyminator for D-Ice. Those nines are pressing me. These bitches got armored cars and now they're running spank and slinging it to brothers with no fear. There's a car parked up the way. There's some stuff in there to put these sissies on blast and wreck all their armored stuff. So this mission is very similar to the other Toys in the Hood van missions that we can do across Liberty City, and we will be diving into those at a later point. But uh, I quite enjoy these missions because the general concept of them is that we have to use a little RC car to drive around the streets of Liberty City to use to detonate and explode specific vehicles. So in the case of this mission, the specific vehicle we're going after are Secura cars that are being driven by Purple Nine gang members. And they're using these Secura cars to distribute spank on the streets of Shoreside Vale. So we've got to put an end to that madness there. And the way we're going to do so is with these buggies, as the game calls them. And so, these buggies can explode, and you can detonate them yourself, but you've got to be careful because they can detonate on their own if you drive too close to another vehicle, or if you drive underneath a vehicle. And so, that can be problematic when you're turning around corners and whatnot, because you're going to see that when you turn around corners, it's sometimes not the easiest to see what's actually going to be in front of you. And so, that can lead to some issues where, all of a sudden, you round a corner, and then some hot cottage cheese ass is just sitting there right in front of you. And there's going to be explosions all right, but, you know, not in the slacks area. So, yeah, it's uh, something you have to be mindful of, especially in the more high-density traffic areas of Shoreside Vale, like the Porter Tunnel, for example. So, hopefully, we don't have to experience driving through the Porter Tunnel, because that's just a death trap for these things. But, anyway, uh, there's usually a secured car around this area of Shoreside Vale near the Cochrane Dam. But in my case, there wasn't. And so, we'll just have to do a bit more driving. Because my general strategy for this mission, not that you really need a strategy, since there's no time limit or timer ticking off, um, but I do prefer going after the one that's furthest away from the parked location of the Toys in the Hood van. So, in my case, this secure car driving around Francis International Airport is the secure car furthest away. And now the other two should be relatively nearby. And in fact, there's one on this windy road that's, I guess, in front of me, but on top of a little cliff. So we have to kind of wind up the cliff there. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's that's what I... I guess plan on doing for the remainder of this mission and I like this mission not only because of the concept but also because there's no time limit so you're able to just freely drive around the place without worrying about the Colombian cartel shooting at you or potentially getting lost and flipping your vehicle because these buggies are very durable things like you could flip these things off of you know a, a massive cliff and you'll be completely fine I mean this thing is like a cat a lot of the time where it just ends up landing right side up <laughs> so it's pretty cool but I do like that we can just freely roam shoreside Vale with minimal worries and it allows you to familiarize yourself with the I don't know windy roads that this place has and all the different levels of elevation and whatnot I mean Shoreside Vale is a tr tough place to traverse if you're not familiar with it, so yeah, this is a great opportunity to familiarize yourself if you are not familiarized with the area. So that completes this part. In the next part, we will be completing the next de-ice mission, which is called Rig to Blow. So until then, I will see you next time.